hello everyone welcome back to acido's kitchen if this is the first time you're stopping by you're most welcome for my returning subscribers thanks for the support today i am making a cedar a cedar is a south sudanese staple that is eaten with different stews it is made using maize flour i need just two ingredients for this recipe and that is water and flour. However, there are multiple ways to prepare a cedar and some people add a bit of oil and salt. I start by pouring boiling water into a pot. Once I have the required amount of water, I start adding my maize flour gradually while mixing and stirring constantly to avoid lumps. This is the key to lump-free acida. When the flour lumps up, you get spots of raw flour inside the acida. And following this method helps avoid that. I slightly reduce the heat at this stage to avoid the mix from splashing on me before it starts thickening up. When the flour starts thickening up and its consistency is slightly thicker than that of porridge, turn the heat up and cover the pot for a few minutes. This helps prevent burns and also allows the flour to properly cook through. Doing this will ensure that your acida doesn't have that raw maize flour taste. At this point, I reduce the heat again and gradually add flour until I get my preferred firmness. I reduce the heat because I don't want to risk getting burnt but once the acida starts thickening up, turn the heat back up. The Sudanese and South Sudanese acida is slightly softer than the Kenyan ugali which is much more heavier and much firmer. I continue to add flour gradually until I get my preferred firmness. Once I am happy with the firmness, I remove the cooking stick and smoothen the top of the acida. Then I cover it for about a minute. This makes it easier to flip the acida onto a plate or a tray. Now that that is done, I flip the pot onto a plate and smooth out the edges. I do this using a wooden spoon that I dip into cold water to prevent the acida from sticking to the spoon. If the method I use to prepare a cedar is different from yours, kindly let me know in the comment section how you prepare it. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions to make, please do so in the comment section. For more recipes, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. 
kindly like and share this video as it helps my channel get more visible. This is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye bye.